Photos and videos are some of the most useful resources available to modern historians, journalists, and even to YouTube channels like this one. We've covered creepy videos and photos on this channel many times before, and the ones we're going to show you today aren't obviously creepy or disturbing at first glance. They instead conceal their darkness with disturbing hidden details or backstories. We have 15 of them to run through with you, and they range from creepy old historical content to subtle depictions of more modern disasters, tragedies, and unexplainable events. These photos and videos will remind us of the fact that the world can still be a very dark and dangerous place for those unlucky enough to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Now, before we begin, we'd just like to say that if you enjoy our videos and find value in our work, consider supporting us over on Patreon. Lots of our videos are not ad-friendly, and thanks to the Patreon, we're able to keep covering the topics you love, despite YouTube's ad rules not liking them. Not only will you be supporting our channel, but you'll also get access to all of our exclusive full-length documentaries, like our most recent Minds of Madness on Christopher Dunch, or our most recent Murderous Minds on Edmund Kemper, the co-ed killer, all for just $2 a month, and you can cancel any time you want. We also want to remind you all that as has always been the case, if you genuinely cannot afford $2 a month, we offer all of our patron exclusive content for free, no questions asked. We understand times are tough, and not everyone can afford it, so if you cannot, just drop us an email to patreon at topfives.co.uk to see our content for free. Thanks everyone for supporting, and now it's time to hit those lights, sit back, and enjoy. Murderous Photo Bombers This image looks innocent enough. It's a 1990 NBA Hoops basketball card featuring former New York Knicks player Mark Jackson. Not a particularly valuable card at the time. Jackson was a good player, but not a standout star. For many years, the card has remained a fairly uninteresting piece of memorabilia in someone's collection. However, in 2018, a Redditor pointed out that sitting in the crowd behind Jackson was Lyle and Eric Menendez, the high-profile brothers who in August 1989 slaughtered their wealthy parents, Jose and Kitty. Even more chillingly is at the time this photo was taken, they had already murdered them and had gone on a massive spending spree, buying cars, expensive watches, and apparently courtside tickets of Madison Square Garden. Eventually the brothers were arrested and convicted of the killings and sentenced to life without possibility of parole and they are currently incarcerated together at Richard J. Donovan Correctional Facility. For those who collect macabre memorabilia, since the discovery, unsurprisingly, the card has soared in value. Resurfacing. Lake Mead, located on the outskirts of Las Vegas, has been receding in depth in recent years. Droughts are ravaging the land over much of this region, and Lake Mead in particular hides a grisly secret. These photos appear to show detrius or waste that is washed up on the lake shore as the waters recede, but look closer and you will see that these are in fact remains, human remains. Lake Mead, being a deep and remote body of water, was a popular site for the Las Vegas Mafia to dispose of bodies, or to carry out their killings. As the lake has become smaller, Previously undiscovered bodies have been made visible, with some bodies having been stuffed into a steel drum, or having been coated in a pair of concrete shoes, ensuring they would be heavy enough to not resurface. Experts have predicted that there will be more man-made horrors to resurface as the lake declines further and further, including perhaps more unfortunate victims of the Mafia. Behind the Trees this is a creepy one, and that's recently gone viral. The video depicts a man singing in the woods, as he films some deer who come by to check out the sound. The deer seem pretty unfazed by the man's voice, and uncharacteristically haven't run off at the sight of any potential danger, they just stand there watching. What the man hasn't noticed, and what people have pointed out after the video is uploaded however, is the fact that there are several other figures watching him from behind the trees, alarmingly close to the deer. Typically, it would be simple to pass this off as other people, out for a walk in the woods on the same day, but the fact that they are standing so close to the deer has made many people skeptical about just what these figures could be. What's your thoughts?
the calm before the storm. This photo, which doesn't seem to be particularly well known, depicts what seems to be a relatively normal afternoon in a town park. People can be seen going about their business in the foreground, without any care or concern. Although men can be seen running towards the front of the picture, the cyclist behind them adjacent to the road worker, combined with the fact that there seems to be very few people around, makes this look like an almost sleepy scene. But cast your eyes to the top right, however, and you'll see why this image is included on this list. A line of huge tanks can be seen rolling into the area. To begin, what would be the bloody Tiananmen Square massacre in 1989, where the Chinese government brutally murdered huge numbers of their own people for protesting for economic and political reform in the country. It is unknown how many people officially lost their lives that day, but estimates range from between several hundred to several thousand. Look at the top left of the image behind the trees, and you can even see the infamous tank man, the man who famously stood in front of the line of incoming tanks, in what would become one of the most famous photos ever taken. The Elephant's Foot To those who do not already know what this is, this picture might be a bit puzzling at first. What appears to be a huge thick liquid mass is pouring out of indoor machinery, while strange glowing effects can be seen in the top of the image. In reality, what you are looking at here is known as the Elephant's Foot, a super radioactive mass of corium that escaped from within one of the reactors at Chernobyl nuclear power plant on the day of the infamous disaster in April 1986. It is one of the most lethal objects on planet Earth. Spend five minutes around it and you'll have a 50-50 chance of taking a lethal dose of radiation. It is now safe enough to be around the elephant's foot whilst taking protective measures and wearing the correct safety clothing. As deputy director of the new safe confinement project, Arthur Korneviev did in 1996 when he took this photo of it. Its name comes from the strange wrinkly texture of the object when it was discovered, which is now apparently morphed into a sand-like consistency over time. Hair raising warning. This image has been around for decades, although we've never featured it on top fives. It was taken on August 20th, 1975, and shows 18-year-old Michael McQuiggan posing for a photo with his 12-year-old brother Sean on Morrow Rock in California's Sequoia National Park. The snap was taken by the brother's 15-year-old sister Mary using an old Kodak Instamatic camera. The group had noticed their hair was standing up on end and thought it would make a funny photo. However, little did they know, there was nothing funny about it. It was a warning of what was to come. Moments later, the temperature dropped and the rain came down. The teens decided to make their way back down the mountain, but only got part way down when a massive bolt of lightning struck them. Michael was thrown to the ground and Sean collapsed with smoke pouring out of his back. He was knocked unconscious and suffered third degree burns to his back and elbows. Contrary to rumors at the time, both brothers survived the strike, although another hiker was killed. However, sadly, Sean was lost to suicide in 1989. The photo is a chilling reminder that hair standing on end and tingling skin may be signs that a lightning strike is imminent. The Haunting Face of War These next images show the disturbing effects of war. The first shows a fresh-faced artist, Eugene Kopyatev, the day before he went to the front line after Germany attacked the Soviet Union in 1941. The young artist voluntarily became a soldier and enlisted in one of the artillery regiments of the Red Army. But in September 1941, he was wounded in the leg and became a prisoner of war at the notorious German concentration camp operated out of Coral. The brutal conditions at the camp resulted in at least 90,000 prisoners and civilian deaths. However, in 1943, Kopyatev managed to escape from captivity and rejoin the Red Army, participating in various military operations throughout Ukraine, Moldova, Poland, and Germany, and he was eventually awarded the Hero of the Soviet Union Medal for his excellent military service. But four years later, a different image is looking into the camera lens. It's the same man, but the contrast is striking. Kopyatev's thin, tired face and troubled stares show the inner torture of witnessing four years of a no-rule war on the Eastern Front, a troubling reminder of the human cost of war, even to those that managed to survive. Ah, 
Anthony Wargate's final night. This still from CCTV footage, shot in Barking, East London, depicts two men walking down a street at night on the right-hand side of the screen. Nothing sinister can be deducted at first, until you note that these are the final images of Anthony Wargate. The shorter of the two men, on the left of the other in the footage. The second man is Stephen Port, a serial killer who infamously focused his killings on young gay men. He would locate his victims through the use of dating websites before giving them fatal doses of GHB, before disposing of the evidence near to his flat. Anthony was the first of Port's four victims, all of whom were young men in their twenties. Port is now serving a full life sentence. The Nuclear Shadows of Hiroshima These photos show eerie outlines of figures and structures stained onto steps and pavements. It almost looks like some kind of painting, but in reality, these images show the real-life nuclear shadows of real human beings who perished in the bombing of Hiroshima, Japan, on the 6th of August 1945. The ground, the buildings, and the earth was bleached by boiling light at over 5,500 degrees Celsius. The haunting last moments of the citizens of Hiroshima were burnt into the pavement by the bleaching, capturing the last moments of innocent bystanders to the horrors of World War II's cataclysmic conclusion in Japan. The school photo. This is the class of 1999, group school photo, which was taken at Columbine High School, located in Colorado, the same year. In what at first appears to be a normal school photo, with the students smiling, posing and laughing for the camera, take a look in the top left area of the photo, and you'll uncover a chilling backstory. A group of students can be seen making gestures at the camera that resemble firing guns, lacking the sense of celebration and joy exhibited by the other students. Among these students are Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold, the two perpetrators of the horrific Columbine High School massacre that would occur just a few months later in April 1999. For more information on the Columbine High School Massacre, you can watch our full documentary on Dylan and Eric by clicking the link in the description. The Fireball These grainy photos and the accompanying video show a huge fairground ride from the Ohio State Fair known as the Fireball. Without background, they just appear to be amateur mobile phone photos taken by a bystander presumably whose friend or relative was riding at the time. Shortly after these photos were taken, however, the ride malfunctioned, and the swinging, pendulum-like amusement snapped, launching part of the ride, along with its several riders, into the air, killing at least one and injuring several others. The ride was supposed to propel the riders 12 meters into the air several times before coming to a stop in the middle, but unfortunately, things did not go to plan. It is unknown just what caused the malfunction, which resulted in an upsetting and grisly scene for many involved. Jonestown Prelude This image depicts Jim Jones, leader of the People's Temple, an American cult which formed in 1973. The cult amassed many followers over the years for its operations from 1973 to the end of 1978. In the image, Jones can be seen smiling amongst his followers, who had amassed at the People's Temple settlement in the Guyanan town of Georgetown on this very day to take part in one of the strangest and most horrific events in American history. Shortly after this picture was taken, over 900 individuals lost their lives in a mass murder-suicide orchestrated by Jones. Many of the cult members opted to take their own lives by poisoning themselves with juice laced with cyanide where many more who refused were killed with weapons by Jones's men, specifically crossbows and guns. Among the victims were many children and young people. Many of Jones's followers were so devoutly taken with him and his cult that they would gladly do this for him. Jones himself did not poison himself. He died that day too from a single gunshot wound to his head. To this day, it's unknown if he did this to himself or was killed by somebody else. This photo is eerily striking with context to see Jones appearing so apparently calm, bathed in the evening sunlight, ahead of the events that would follow, are truly unsettling. The Kidnap of James Bolger This CCTV footage shows what appears to be an average Friday in the Merseyside shopping centre. A series of people can be seen walking towards the top of the screen, 
Whilst in the centre, two young boys can be seen leading a younger boy away from the camera. The youngest boy is James Bolger, a two-year-old that was kidnapped and murdered on the 12th of February 1993 by the other two boys in the photo, Robert Thompson and John Venables, both 10 years old. They are seen in this footage slyly leading him away from his mother and out to the nearby train tracks, where they would commit one of the most horrific murders in British history, sadistically torturing the boy before ending his life. It was this footage that helped to solve the crime and bring the two murderers to justice. Both James's mother and the police did not expect the worst after reviewing the footage. They had assumed that the boys in the photo were just making friends with him or taking him away to play. When the body was discovered, however, it transpired exactly what had happened. What appeared to be innocent CCTV footage hid the much darker truth. The Martinez Dog Demon This photo shows a happy couple, Joe and Patty Martinez, celebrating at their friend's 50th wedding anniversary. What initially seems like a normal photo is interrupted by looking over Joe's shoulder where you can see what appears to be the head of a gnarling dog baring its teeth and widening its eyes, as if going in for an attack. The story behind this one is that Joe had been struggling with addiction around the time the photo was taken. He referred to his situation as soul destroying and that it was driving him mad. Reluctantly, he attended his friend's anniversary that day and took this photo with Patty. Upon taking a look at the photo, it became apparent that this dog-like entity was present behind Joe. The couple had no way of explaining it, as there were no dogs present at the party, and there was nothing behind Joe at the time that could have explained this strange occurrence. Unsettled, Joe guessed that this could be a demon, an entity haunting him, representing his problems with addiction, or as Patty even suggested that the dog could be Satan himself. There is a happy ending here though, Joe took this as a sign that he needed to battle his addiction once and for all, and succeeded. He even carries the photo around in his wallet as a reminder to stay on the right path. The photo in turn has attracted a lot of attention from paranormal investigators and online communities, none of which have been able to successfully deduce what this image actually shows. What do you think? Auto Icon, a novel way to be remembered. Is it a painting, a statue, or something much creepier? No, it's the preserved skeleton of Jeremy Bentham, an English philosopher, jurist, and social reformer who died in London on the 6th of June, 1832. Bentham, who was regarded as the founder of modern utilitarianism, argued that the greatest happiness of the greatest number is the only right and proper end of government, something that resonates with a lot of people today. When Bentham died, he requested that his body be given to his friend, Dr. Southwood Smith, and specific instructions on how it was to be preserved. In what he named as Auto Icon, Bentham asked for his skeleton to be seated in his old chair, dressed in one of his suits, and placed in a cabinet that occasionally could be brought into meetings with his friends. Originally, Bentham intended for his head to be part of the Auto Icon, and apparently for ten years before his death, he carried in his pocket the glass eyes which were to adorn it. However, unfortunately, the process set out to preserve his head went disastrously wrong, robbing it of most of its facial features. So a wax head was put in its place, and for many years, the real head, with its glass eyes, was placed between Bentham's legs in the cabinet. Although nowadays, it's in a separate case. Today, Bentham's auto-icon is located at the University College London, and can be viewed by the public. It's unclear whether he is still wheeled into meetings. So that's 15 photos and videos that hide disturbing details that cannot be seen on first glance. We hope you enjoyed this video, and perhaps you even have a photo or video of your own that hides something disturbing. As we said at the beginning, photos and videos are incredible resources that many of us take for granted, and we often underestimate the power behind an image or piece of footage. Some truly terrible things have been documented in the media in this video, but hopefully they can serve as a reminder to avoid similar horrors in the future. Thanks for watching, and as always, we'll see you in the next video.